Sainsbury's were looking round for an architect for their site in Camden Town, where they wanted to have a supermarket. They'd had four goes at getting planning permission, and the planners basically said to them, look, just get yourself a decent architect and do a proper building. And we came along and did this scheme for them, and uh, we got planning permission, I think, in six weeks. Hello, it's us. OK, this is exciting. <sighs> Hi. 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 Welcome. Hi. We had an obligation in the planning application to build some residential. We had an idea about how a terrace row of very modern houses could really work here. Of course, needless to say, they didn't want to build luxury dwellings. We were still hammered down to the, into the ground on cost. So we built them out of industrial materials, which seemed to blend in with the supermarket. It's an impossible site for a house because the back wall is completely imperfect and it's a completely single aspect, north facing, but there's a canal, a lovely aspect. I haven't been out. here since 1988. Really? <laughs> no, what, well, you've yeah. never been inside um, one, really? Well, so I've been inside, I was pouring all over them, yeah. you know, when we were handing it over, and then that's, you know, job done. That's it. <laughs> not, that's I had it. to let go. My well, come in, you'll see some changes. But well, not yeah, too much. Yeah. So you're remembering it now. <laughs> These are the two boys sitting there. Hello. Our son is 20. We moved in when he was like nine months old. So um, he's going to be 21 uh, soon. So it's yeah. 20 years. Exactly 20 years. Yeah, exactly 20 years ago. We'd always looked at these houses, dreamed of having one of these houses, and we happened to walk past and we saw that they were having this auction. So we went in and said, would you pass our details on, because we really love these houses, and they did. And within a week, we bought it. It's, it's amazing to think about now, because in a, really and truly, they were accidental, these houses. A sort of spin-off, really. Um, the yeah, supermarket they... was the key thing. Yeah. You know, this house, your house exists because of a traffic planner's uh, turning circles. You know, they made it as tight as possible. Said, well, there's, what do you want to do with this little strip down the side? They said, oh, put some houses there. Thank you very much. And they never questioned what, we, what they looked like or what, what you know, did they? They, I, they let you do what you wanted, wanted, wanted didn't they? they, they, they it's yes. Amazing. They, 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 pretty, you know, there was never, they, they, they didn't say, let's see the elevation, you know, and, throw their hands up in the air and say, my God, this is a kind of much too super modern, we'll never be able to sell them. But um, why did they appeal to you in the first place? To be honest, I love sci-fi and, you know, they look like little <laughs> spaceships, they look like space pods. And um, that's why we just knew we needed to have so, it. We didn't even know what it looked like time, inside, it didn't matter. <laughs> We devised this idea of making the living room double height with a glazed industrial door that lifts up so that the living room can, in nice weather, actually become outside space. Oh, that's it. Hey, so I stand out here. Having done a lot of advanced factory units, we're familiar with the technology of a, a raising and lowering loading door. You know, they, those are industrial doors straight out of the catalogue. Does it really work for you? I mean, it, it does. It does, totally does, works. does it break down? Break down? Well, it's only ever broke, broke really? once stopped. Oh, once stopped, once, yeah. and that was just literally the motor. And, and you use it a lot, even in. Oh, I mean, especially in the summer. Yeah. Because of our proselytising for this this new language of thin materials, of industrial materials, the windows inside the solid area are bus windows with curved corners. And then you have the aluminium panels on the outside. There was definitely a Grimshaw style in those days, and we felt if we did a set of houses, it had to fit in that family. There had to be a continuum from a factory for a firm like Herman Miller and a, a canal side house. We were trying to bring an industrial aesthetic to a, a domestic situation. There's no precedent for building houses in this industrial vocabulary, except for a block of flats of Park Road, you might argue, which is also aluminium. And so those houses along the canal in Camden Town are one of the few 
examples of actual, a really modern terrace. 